for those of us building technology and then selling that technology to you, it's really easy for us to forget how challenging it is for you to make a wise investment, to know which technology is the one that's going to propel your company forward, that's going to save you money and make you more money. That's a challenging decision for you. When you're considering five different business systems, you're making a bet on the company that you're investing in technology with. You're hoping that they're going to build the functionality and features that they've probably promised you, the functionality and features that you'll need as the technology evolves and the marketplace evolves. You're hoping that they'll do it quickly and that they'll move fast. So you're making a bet on who you're getting your technology and your software from. That's difficult. And then to make it even more difficult, you're probably looking at five different systems. And the five different systems all look pretty interesting. When you read their website, they all say we can do scheduling and invoicing and we can do some marketing and manager to-dos and we can do all these great and wonderful things. But how do you know which of the five systems is the best? How do you know which of the five systems has invested the time and money to implement the functionality that they've built all throughout the system in such a way that's very easy for your team to use it and that it's logical and that it's quick to use and that it doesn't require 10 clicks to make something happen and that it's fast. There's so many considerations and it's really hard to read a website or look at some demo videos or even have a salesperson demo the system for you and show it to you because they can make it look great but then Eight weeks later, when you've actually implemented in your company and your team is ridiculously busy and they're trying to get invoices out the door and they're trying to schedule while the phone is ringing and the field techs are asking for different things, and in the heat of the moment, how's that technology hold up? Is it right? We have invested a tremendous amount of time and a tremendous amount of money to differentiate our technology from everyone else. Do you require your clients? put a credit card on file before service? Or do you possibly require that they provide a credit card and you charge that credit card after service is performed? If you do, we have taken a number of extra steps to help you. So if you add a credit card to Service Autopilot, when you put the credit card information in, as soon as you click save, Service Autopilot automatically validates the credit card. It takes just over a second before you hang up the phone with the client you can be certain that you have a valid credit card that will not be declined and that credit card is stored in your system. If your client has a credit card on file and they go to the client portal and they try to update the credit card with a fake credit card, the system will not let them delete their existing card until they put in a valid credit card. This will save you from the client that doesn't want to get auto charged or doesn't want to pay their bill and therefore they give you an invalid credit card to get away with not paying. In addition to making sure that when a credit card is added to Service Autopilot that it is validated, Service Autopilot recognizes how incredibly difficult it is to get a client back on the phone when their credit card declines because the expiration date has passed, because their credit card number was changed, because they had fraud on their credit card and it was reissued. So we have partnered with credit card processors that offer the most competitive rates and In working together, we are able to make sure that every credit card is automatically updated in our system when it expires, when there's fraud, or the credit card number is changed. You will not have to contact your clients and get an updated credit card. It will happen automatically for you within Service Autopilot. What about this scenario? You perform work, you generate an invoice, you send it out to your client, And then someone on your team realizes, oh, wait, we forgot to bill this, or this job wasn't communicated to the team in time, and so now we need to add it to the invoice. So they go into Service Autopilot, and they add something else to an invoice, save it, close it, and then think that that invoice is going to eventually get mailed out to the client or emailed to the client, not realizing that it has already been sent. So we have a feature that you can enable that will automatically lock the invoice when it has been printed or emailed to prevent your team from making changes to that invoice that will never be communicated to the client or to protect you from an individual on your team changing the rate on a job or something about the job that has already been invoiced. They can unlock it and do an override. But until they do so, you're protected knowing that everything added to an invoice will actually get billed. 
How about this? Have you ever had a client that it seems like for whatever reason, your company cannot seem to invoice them correctly? Something always goes wrong. There's always a mistake. Or they have very specific instructions that your team has to remember every month and inevitably, periodically, you'll make a mistake and you'll bill the client incorrectly and that results in a painful conversation. So what if you could simply go into their client account, mark their invoice as flag for invoice for review, put in billing notes that define the exact rules of what they're expecting, and click save, and then every month or every week or on whatever frequency your invoices are generated, their invoices would be flagged for review before your team printed them and sent them or emailed them, ensuring that you cut down on the billing mistakes that are happening within the company. Have you ever had an issue where someone in the field, one of your techs or your crews, uses a part or materials and it's not communicated to the office and therefore it is not invoiced to the client. That's a big loss. So Service Autopilot recognizing this has built functionality that when someone on your team adds a part or materials to a job from the field, you can be automatically alerted with a yellow icon that lights up on the job telling you that you might want to check the quantity, you might want to check the price, you might want to even check the notes that will appear on the invoice describing the use of this product. Now you could turn this feature on or off, maybe you don't want it, but it's a huge feature that saves a lot of companies money. Have you ever had a situation where a good client calls and they want to schedule recurring work? In my example, maybe you're going to be at their property once a week. And so you're scheduling the work while they're talking to you on the phone. They tell you that in three weeks, we are going to be out of town. And during that time, you cannot get into our backyard. And somehow you've got to remember to communicate this to your tech or your crew three weeks out. So you make a sticky note and you put it on your desk or you put a note in your phone or somehow into your to-do system, hoping that you'll remember. But what if what you could do is you could go ahead and schedule that job right now and you could add a note now that only appears on the mobile or on the route sheet or on the work order when it's time. So what if you could pick start date, you could jump a month out in the future and you could say, show this note only between this time period. So what would happen is when that team or that tech is on the property during this time period, they'll see the note. Any other time, the note will not show up. One thing we've learned is when you do not remove notes from mobiles and from route sheets, eventually your team starts ignoring all the notes. Features like this have a huge impact on customer service. Have you ever had a situation where you have a team or a crew in your software system and you have resources, employees or contractors assigned to that team, and then for whatever reason, you need to turn that team off? So for example, you decide to make that team inactive, and you're creating a different team in the system. This is a common use case. Well, what if you have 48 jobs assigned to that crew or to that team? What do you do? In most cases, you have to go reassign all of those jobs to another team and you have to find them all throughout the system. In Service Autopilot, when you deactivate a crew, the system automatically scans all the outstanding work assigned to them and it prompts you to make sure that you'll reassign it to a new tech or a new crew so that nothing is missed. Or let's imagine this little scenario. You have a crew and it's made up of three individuals and one of the individuals only works on this crew on Mondays and Tuesdays and, it, and that person works on a different crew the other three days of the week. You can set that up right inside Service Autopilot. It's a little feature, it doesn't affect everyone, but it's an example of hundreds and hundreds of little features that have been put into the system that have a huge impact on your ability to use the system and the satisfaction of your team. Many of the screens can be customized. The sort order can be defined. The columns that appear on the screen, the filtering of the data that shows up on the screen, all of that can be customized. And then you have a number of different people possibly in your organization all accessing this information. Each person, whether it be for clients or leads or estimates or scheduling or calendar views, can define their own unique views and have as many as they want so that if you want to toggle between a couple of views where you manage a certain group of techs, 
And then in other cases, you need to see a completely different set of your data. You can quickly customize and save unique views and toggle between them. It is a massive time saver when you're trying to use the system quickly. And it allows everyone on your team to customize the system just for them. So we have a dispatch board that's unique to Service Autopilot. We also have five different calendar views. And in most systems, they predominantly just have a calendar to do scheduling. We have that, but we have more. Oftentimes, if you need to move a lot of work on the calendar, you have to drag and drop all the work. We can do that. But in addition, what if you could simply, in Service Autopilot, do a couple searches, a couple filters, select all the work you want to move in bulk, and then quickly click Edit move that work to another day, reassign it to a different person. There's all types of functionality in Service Autopilot that will let you bulk update data and information in Service Autopilot. So again, the examples that I just gave are only a few of hundreds. And the reason that I gave these examples, because they might not all apply to you, is to show the thought and the amount of effort and money that has gone into making sure that Service Autopilot is a system with very advanced functionality that will simply make your life better.